Hello, welcome to the weather update. It's almost 10 o'clock, the 2nd of November, and a mostly sunny day today. Not too much in the way of clouds, just a few maybe high clouds and maybe some contrails out east. Uh, there was the Surrey Shield to the south. This is part of a storm that's going to be suppressed to the south, uh, so we're not going to see any clouds from that. Um, maybe over southern New Jersey you got some, but other than that, then it's fairly clear out. Uh, but it was pretty mild today. Uh, and we did have some nice skies, so we did take a little walk at Beth Page State Park, looking at some of the fall colors around. You can see, I know I did not take a video, but uh, it was kind of warm, but uh, did have a nice sky, though. There you go, some of the oaks, some sassafras in there. Um, so we still have the leaves changing slowly. Again, this warm weather is not going to help that at all whatsoever. Uh, so let's go take a look at what we got going on outside right now. We are seeing radiational cooling across our area here. I see 40s in the Pine Barrens already, uh, 50s uh, further west. Uh, though we're down to 49 at Carl Place, 52 at Islip, 48 at Shirley, and 43 at West Hampton. Uh, going further west in the city, obviously holding on to the heat there. 61 at LaGuardia, 62 in Central Park. And as you make your way into northern New Jersey, you see around 50. Southern New Jersey uh, in the Pine Barrens, just like our Pine Barrens, it's radiating away already down to the 40s. So they're probably going to have lows probably near 40 tonight. Um, and drier air has moved in as well. So if we look at the dew points, you'll see dew points generally are in the 40s. So let's take a look and see what your day was like at Islip. 52 right now at Islip, but let's see what it was earlier. Uh, let's get an idea. It was pretty mild today. We were around 70 for a good part of the effort. Actually, we got into the 70s today, it looks like. So, yeah, pretty warm out there. We're much, much, much above normal uh, for November, and we're going to be getting even warmer. Uh, you can see the northeast winds. Uh, we had northeast winds becoming uh, east and just becoming calm this evening. So we've got calm wind. However, there is a light southerly wind. There was a little bit of a sea breeze during the day. If we uh, look at maybe maybe if we look at West Hampton, we'll see if there was a, a sea breeze uh, because I surely felt one. Um, uh, let's see what we had here. Yep, there was one being registered right around five. Very weak. You can see it well, was a little bit of a sea breeze around five o'clock. So very slight sea breeze uh, today. And you can see uh, we started off, we, we were dry, low dew, the dew points were a little higher in the morning, and then by the afternoon they wound up dropping lower. Uh, so let's take a look and see what our highs were uh, across the area today. Uh, so let's go to our high temperature. Map obviously will be setting the low temperatures tonight. You see everybody got into the low 70s pretty much. Low 70s, uh, maybe out in the east end, some upper 60s, low 70s. Uh, 69 in Central Park, 72 for a high at LaGuardia, 72 for a high at Islip, even West Hampton at 72. Looking at New Jersey, probably probably around the same there in the southern New Jersey area in the Pine Barrens there. Probably also in the low 70s. If we can get this to display, uh, it would be great, but we all know the way this site works. It sometimes doesn't feel like working, and that apparently is what's going on right now because we just have a spinning circle, and it's not showing us the high temperatures. Uh, even though it should be. Let's just toggle this back and forth. And it doesn't seem to want to show the high temps. Come on. <sighs> you know, Noah, you need to fix this this damn thing. All right? It shouldn't get stuck so often. It's just stuck. It's just spinning. Oh. Well, I guess I can't give you the hives for New Jersey because apparently the site will not work. So um, this really sucks because I want it to. But you can see it's just not working. It's just spinning. So there, there you go. That's what you guys you get to deal with here at the NOAA site. So it's uh, we cannot get your highs for New Jersey. I do apologize, but they're probably around similar uh, low 70s, probably I would assume. So sorry, we can't get that information to you. Maybe eventually it will load. If we come back later, maybe it will be on the site. Uh, but it was quite a warm day today. I can maybe pull up some of the information on the climatology here. Uh, go to the climatology down here. No one really needs to fix that site because it's always, always a problem. So, ice slip. So, uh, you can see the high was 71. Normal highs, normal highs 58. So, we were 13 degrees above normal for the day. That's insane. Uh, the record was 76. So, you can see we're getting into a few more degrees and we get into that record territory there, uh, which is uh, pretty interesting. I could change this to Newark. Uh, let's see what the high was in Newark. 73. So maybe it was a little warmer there. That's Newark. 
Um, and again, let's see if we've got the high still not loading. Yeah, I guess it's not going to work. You know, I'll try it again one more time. It's annoying. I want to show you that. That's why I might just do it zoomed out instead of, you know, zoomed in so much because it seems like for whatever reason it gives me problems. So at least if I'm zoomed out. Yeah, there you go. That's got to be good enough. I'm going to do it zoomed out from now on when I should do the highs. Uh, so you can see, yeah, low 70s pretty much. I figured it was the same, you know, but I wanted to, you know, double check on that. Uh, so um, there's been some record heat going on I want to bring up in Florida right now uh, from Wink uh, TV weather here. Uh, this was uh, a record today. Southwest Florida just had their hottest November day on record. 93 in Punta Gorda. That is the normal high in July and August. So that's pretty crazy stuff. Um, and you can see here, look at that uh, record heat. So they're, they're talking about the record heat going on. You can see again, Southwest Florida, Florida also had their hottest Halloween record on record with uh, Fort Myers reaching 91. So again, this is what we're dealing with as we deal with the climate crisis. Unfortunately, none of our elected officials, no, no matter what the party, whether it's Democrat or Republican, give a damn about it. Um, some of them talk about it, but none of them really take it seriously. Uh, so this is just more proof of what's happening on this planet uh, as we continue to deal with this. And, you know, we're going to get a taste of that in warm weather. The whole just got this crazy ridge in the whole East Coast here. If you go to the National Weather Service, uh, um, you'll see uh, the kind of weather they've had as well. So it's just been really, uh, we'll show you the kind of weather they, and they've had some thunderstorms too, by the way, in the area. So Punta Gorda, here's Punta Gorda, the site, look at that. Uh, tropical, I mean, 90, 2.7. I mean, this is just, look at how high the dew points got up to, 75 degrees. Wow. That is just, why would anyone want to live in Florida is beyond me. It's just getting more and more tropical there. It's just, no, absolutely no way. Um, so, uh, just the weather makes it just unbearable. I'll take New Jersey any day over Florida. <laughs> Uh, but uh, let's go to the models now, and uh, we're going to look at uh, the, the, what we got going on again. And we'll uh, go out to the North American view, and we will show you the jet stream again and what is causing this craziness here. And we also have some tropical systems to talk about, too. So let's go to the 250 MB wind. And you can see we just got this big ridge here. The jet stream is just all disorganized. And because of that disorganization, uh, you're going to see, uh, you look at this ridge, this huge ridge we get by the weekend here. That's going to shoot the warm air up all the way into the eastern Canada. Uh, and you can see that it's like narrow troughs, but they mainly stick to out west. Uh, and, and as far as us, uh, it keeps getting pushed back. It's around mid-November, maybe things will change a little bit and you see a deep trough there. But other than that, uh, you know what this means. Just huge ridges, crazy patterns, totally abnormal. Um, you can see this is a tropical system we're going to have to watch. Uh, and you can see that huge ridge on the east coast there. So there you go. It's just it's just nuts. All right, so when we go and we look at the surface. When we look at the surface a map, you will see here. Uh, we've got this high under, uh, you know, it's pretty much this high over the east coast. And it's going to start getting warmer and more humid. You see that? You see that what's going to happen toward the weekend here? You're going to have all this warm air come up from the tropics. Uh, and it's just going to be all right. Look at this. It's just going to be very warm here right around the ridge. See it right there. Uh, that's what we're going to be dealing with. And it's going to be way above normal as a result of that. And, uh, you know, you, just looking at this, you can tell it's going to be way above normal. Now you put the temperature anomaly chart. Look at that. This is Saturday. All right. Sunday. This is going to be some record heat this weekend. All right. I think we're going to see possibly three days of record highs in a row here in our area, perhaps. And going into the next week, you see we again have that New England high pattern. We'll, we'll get into the surface uh, right now. So let me go back to the surface here. Um, so we have this, again, this tropical system that we're going to have to watch uh, that could develop right off the southeast coast. Fortunately, we have a high that's building in over New England. It's going to keep it suppressed. Uh, that'll keep it suppressed for a little while, but then eventually uh, it will work its way up when the next trough digs in. Uh, it will we'll get remnants, and probably for our next chance for so probably heavier rain would be Friday, November 11th. Uh, as far as lighter precipitation goes, that's Sunday, but that doesn't look very impressive right now. And again, this is the GFS, right? So uh, 
Let's go to uh, take a closer look. Well, first, let me go to the National Hurricane Center and see if we have information on that. All right, so we have a couple of storms to watch out. All right, we have a couple of storms here. Okay, we have Lisa. I know I've been, I haven't been talking about the tropics too much. Uh, Hurricane Lisa, actually. So this has made landfall on the Yucatan. Uh, uh, Lisa is bringing wind, rain, and storm surge to Belize. As of 7 p.m., its location 17.5 north, 88.5 west, 20 miles west of Belize City. Uh, maximum sustained winds 75 miles an hour, moving west at 12 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure 990 millibars, 29.24 inches. And we have those hurricane warnings in effect for that area. And the extent of hurricane force winds, this is a small storm, only 15 miles from the center. Tropical storm force winds extend up to 70 miles from the center. But there was a wind gust, a sustained wind of 68 with a wind gust of 86 at Belize City. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be bad for them. Uh, and you can see, again, if you look at the map here, I know I have to, I, you know, I just like the tropics are heating up again. You know, i got to pay attention to it. I do apologize for not. Uh, but this is, uh, again, affecting mostly, this is mostly affecting uh, Mexico. Uh, we'll have to see what effects from the United States come next. Then there's Martin, which formed in a very unusual um, uh, very unusual area, uh, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go to this now. You can see the chart from Martin here, uh, and it might actually wind up affecting UK or maybe even uh, yeah, it might affect UK or Ireland perhaps. So again, another sign of the climate crisis here. At 5 p.m. Martin intensifying over the Central Atlantic Ocean. We're not supposed to see things like this, and that's a very weird area for it to intensify. But we have all that warm water. 5 p.m. Uh, update location 37.1 north, 47.6 west, about 1,125 miles west of the Azores, about 720 miles south, southeast of Cape Race, Newfoundland. Maximum sustained winds are 85 miles an hour. Moving northeast at 31 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure 974 millibars to 8.77 inches. Uh, and maximum sustained winds have increased to near 85 miles an hour. And then it's going to gradually lose strength Thursday through the weekend, but remain a large cyclone. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 85, 45 miles from the center. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 150 miles from the center. So, yeah, another storm out there. These kind of just popped up, uh, you know. Um, so let's actually take a look at them on the uh, satellite here. We're going to see if we can get some floaters here and uh, take a look at these. We'll first start with Martin. Uh, this is Martin right there. Oh, wow, look at that. That still looks pretty healthy to me. Would like a few more loops on that, but uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, that looks pretty healthy to me, um, that's for sure. Let's go now over to uh, Lisa. This is Lisa. Lisa's next. Uh, not quite as organized as Martin, but you can see it kind of intensified as it was making landfall there. So this is going to be a problem for people in the Yucatan of Mexico. Uh, so many of these tropical systems were already up to M, uh, so it's pretty significant. Then we had a little bit of a break, but now it's picking up again. Um, so let's just go back to tropical tidbits here. We're going to go to the current storms tab here uh, and look at their satellite imagery. So again, this is Martin right here. You still see some convection going on uh, right there. So this is interesting. It's out in the middle of the ocean, but still, it's unusual where it formed. That far north is very unusual. Because I was watching, and it was just like a depression a couple of days ago. And then... Um, so let's look at these spaghetti models here. Um, so, and this one of them even has it hitting Iceland. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. That is crazy. The GEF. I mean, this is just nuts to see storms this far north. But this is what happens when you have the warm water. And you can see some of the models are even strengthening it further. A lot of them are keeping it at a cat one for quite a while, for at least another couple of days. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy out there. Uh, so let's go back to. Uh, our area and we'll focus on what we're going to have for the next couple of days. I'm not even going to bother with the HRRR at this point. We'll just use the GFS because there's no real precipitation threat right now. It's all about the warm-up that we're going to see. Uh, we have one more comfortable day tomorrow. You can see we have light east winds tonight. We'll probably have some radiational cooling, obviously. Uh, and then tomorrow we have east winds becoming southeast by the afternoon. Dew point still manageable, but then you see what happens. The winds become southwest by Friday. That's going to bring in that warmer air. Humidity slightly increases, but as we get toward the weekend, that's when you're really going to feel it. Here we are with the southerly wind flow, uh, and uh, it's just going to be very warm 
a Saturday and Sunday with that subtle wind flow. And that warmth that's going to linger in the Monday as well. And then we get this front through, and that's going to bring in much drier air with a pretty strong northeasterly flow by Tuesday with that high trying to build in. And then we have to watch that tropical system to the south. Uh, so let's uh, now go and look at our temperatures. And as we head into tomorrow, uh, you will see it will probably be a little, uh, just a touch cooler than today. Uh, probably upper 60s to around 70 for highs. Uh, and so it'll be a little bit cooler. And then at night, we'll probably still radiate. We'll probably still have some radiational cooling with 40s and uh, in the colder spots and 50 to 55 in the other spots. And then that's it. Once we get to a Friday time, put on the air conditioner, go into the mid-70s, um, especially Jersey, mid-70s, low 70s on Long Island. Uh, and then here we are the weekend, uh, mid-70s. Still think it could sit, it wind up hitting 80 somewhere in New Jersey perhaps. And here we are Sunday, mid-70s again. Uh, it all depends on um, if we get a decent sea breeze or not. <laughs> here we are in November talking about sea breezes, but at least the water temperatures have now dropped, I believe. But here we go. Look at that. We're still dealing with the warmth on Monday, upper 70s. Uh, and then Tuesday, finally, the temperatures drop back closer to normal in the upper 50s. And we have cooler weather for the rest of the week next week. So, uh, yeah, it's it's just ridiculous. Let me go to the uh, skies. So uh, as for tomorrow, we should have mostly sunny skies, clear skies. And then Friday, we should also have plenty of sunshine. But once we get to the weekend, you're going to start seeing more of those high clouds. And again, those shower chances as we get closer when that cold front comes through Sunday into Monday. Uh, let's go to the RGM next. And we will go ahead and look at this. So this is the RGM model here for tomorrow. Again, mostly clear. Shouldn't have much in the way of clouds. Do see a few clouds coming in overnight. A um, few, maybe a few more high clouds or mid-level clouds on Friday. But I still think we'll have a plenty of sunshine. So we get to Saturday, you're going to start seeing more cloudiness and more more clouds in the sky. And that's when you start getting into that tropical, that humid flow that we're going to get, uh, which is ridiculous. This is a taste, just a small taste of what they've been dealing with in Florida, which again is pretty crazy when you think about it. Uh, you know, it's, it's absolutely nuts what's going on. Um, you know, that heat and now these tropical systems here where you are in November. It is November. All right, usually tropics die down in November, but nope, not nah, that's not the new normal. This is the new normal we should be talking about. Uh, but no, everybody would rather just bury their head in the sand and just pretend it's not happening that we're in this climate crisis. And nobody really knows how ser how much trouble we're in. People just aren't aware of it. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this weather update. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. And enjoy the next day because then things are going to start heating up. Even though we're in November, you know, you can never put those air conditioners away now. You, can't, you just can't put them away now. This is the way it is now. So have a good night. Thank you for watching.